What's going on guys? My name is Slayer the Gamer and welcome to our first video of Game Dev Tycoon on this channel. And this is also my first video, so go ahead, leave a like and a comment and let me know how I'm doing because that's going to tell me what I need to change if anything. Any suggestions let me know in the comments down below. Let's get right into this. So welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, game fans, and become a leader of the market. That's what our goal is, and that's what we're going to try to do. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Our company. Well, our player name, we're gonna do Slayer the Gamer. For our company, we're gonna name it The Slayers. Slayers Game game. That's a cool name. Alright, now let's customize our character. We are going to be a male. Nope, not a female. Male. We're going to use, let's see, this hairstyle, the mullet I think it is. Then we're going to wear this green shirt. Green's my favorite color, so gotta go with the green. And it's also part of the uh, logo for our channel so that's definitely looking like us so continue no I'm not gonna unlock him so I have played this many times before choose a save slot oh yeah these are all my things I've done yeah anyways so I'm just gonna use this slot yeah I play this game a lot so yeah and we're in Let's start by developing a new game. Let's see. What topics do we have? Government, cyberpunk, music, and horror. Horror. Horror all the way. That's our best. Horror action works well, I'm pretty sure. And then we're going to do the PC. And we're going to name this. Gear. No, no. Scare your, scare away your fear. Or, no, that doesn't sound right. Uh, how about this? Go away or face your fears. Yes, that is a cool name. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go 2D graphics version 1, Tenghe. We're gonna, I go with the best things, and it's not always right, but it works. Uh, gameplay is pretty high, we do need story and quests, I'm pretty sure, and then engine is down. Like here, we'll give it some, because my strategy is basically give, it, give the low one about 15%, the high one 100%, and then the middle one about 85%. That gives you an even time about for uh, what you want to focus on. Now, we're not going to be getting much design or technology to start with, and that's okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go level design and dialogues. That's how I think it is. I'm not using my notes or hints or anything, so yeah. Let's see. Oh, we're getting some bugs, and that's normal when we're up here, but that's all the time in this game. Research. We are going to research a new topic after this, probably. Graphics all the way. Uh, world design is up there, I think, and then sound we'll put down here. Okay. Let's see how well this is going to go. I mean, it's, we have $34,000. We're running low. This needs to be good. Now we're going to wait for these bugs to go down because that's 
uh, really important in this game. Because if you have bugs, it's not gonna sell. Like any game. We do have 16 research points. We'll probably have 20 after the game report. Let's see. We're, I'm just gonna skip this. So we're still level 1 and everything, but we're definitely setting ourselves. Okay. Oh, I'm scared, but release. Let's see how this does. It is our first game, so it's probably not gonna be perfect. Oh, Two, disappointing. Three, waste of time, inform gamer. Three, gameplay served it well. Gameplay saved us. Four, meh. Yeah, I think I chose like everything wrong. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna generate a report for this. I want to see what went wrong. Oh, at least it's selling with go away or face your fear sold 1,523 units in its first week. <sighs> not terrible, but not good. And eh, we're making money at least, but we need a game after this. We need a game. Oh, oh, lag. Our post analysis is complete. We got the following results. Core action, great combination, engine is very important. Oh, I messed that up. Okay. Let's see, what topics do we have? New topic. Let's see. Yeah, none of them are really good. Let's try a prison. One. I think I know what you can do for prison. Yeah, I think I've got what topic would work well. Or not what topic, uh, what uh, genre it is. I'm gonna go with a prison simulation. I think that's gonna work. We have researched prison. Okay. New game, we need it right now. New game, we need to save ourselves quick. Prison, pick genre. Simulation, I'm going to simula prison simulation. And we're going to name this... Why am I here? Why am I here? Alright, next, we're going to go to the text space. Actually, yeah, we'll go 2D. We're, we want to be an advanced prison simulator. Story and quests are nothing in simulation, it's you want little. Engine is going to be our 85%. Okay. That looks good to me. Oh, this is nerve wracking. No, don't scratch your head. No scratching your head, you gotta work. Oh, this is bad. We're barely making money still. Oh, this is bad. Dialogues are nothing in a simulation. You want AI up though, like there. Okay, we we just gotta get this game out and fast. This is gonna basically make or break our company. Oh, this is bad. Let's see. The G64 is outselling competitors in the PC. Well, I'm not going to get a G64 because only in a little bit it's going to go bankrupt. I know that for a fact, and I hate to spoil it, but that's just the truth. I don't want to give too many spoilers, though, because that's just going to ruin this whole gameplay for you guys. I just want you guys to have fun with me and just... Enjoy the commentary and enjoy the game. That's I don't want to ruin anything. So yeah We're just waiting for the bugs Okay Finish Skip all of these we are not gonna level up yet. We'll probably level up with our next game release Please be better reviews. I need this to save the company. And the first reviews came in. Oh, 
this is gonna be mediocre, which is way better. Simulation games work well on PC. Six could have been better. Five have seen better. Uh, let's see, probably a five. Their focus on level design served the game very well. Let's see, that's a mediocre game. That's not bad for us right now because that's. It, we're only starting out. We'll be getting. We'll be getting a super game here soon. Let's see. Nimento, the Japanese company, also known as Nintendo, uh, is preparing to launch a home gaming console for the widely successful Dinky King or Donkey Kong. Home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nimento will deliver. We have seven fans! Yay, we're gaining fans! Like, I hope this channel will rip. Oh, lag. Sorry, I just have a really crappy computer, so whatever game I'm playing, there'll sometimes be lag. But hey, that's what we gotta deal with. Alright, our post-analysis of why am I here is complete, and we got the following results. Prison and simulation is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform genre match PC slash simulation is great. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, we're going to just check it, what topics there are. Might do time travel. Ooh, zombies. Ooh. I'm gonna go time traveling because a time traveling adventure game might work really well. And as always guys, if you do enjoy my content, please do feel free to subscribe, it is free. And you don't have to, but if you would like to see more, go ahead, it's the easiest way to keep following me. And every subscriber, like, and all the support does help a lot. Alright, we have successfully researched time travel. New game time, baby. Let's go. Uh, time travel. Adventure. We're going to go with the PC. And we're going to name this. Go back to the... F nah, I'm not going to rip off back to the future. Let's go back to or oh we're gonna rip it off yeah forward to the past yup rip back to the future next 2d all right let's get this game started all right let's see um story and quest is up there for sure engine is not and I'm because in an adventure game you go it's basically like an RPG almost where you're going around questing basically that's what adventure games are if I know it, my adventure games of course <laughs> uh let's see uh AI oh I don't know I think AI is gonna be low and then dialogue would be up that would make that would only make sense, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Usually the green is the full, but that's not always the truth. Uh, Nintendo has all right. Nintendo is the T with the NES, which is the TES in this game. It's a cartridge-based game with a unique design controller. Great. All right. Let's see. Back to the game. Or forward to the past. Uh, let's see. World design. Because it's an adventure. And sound. I'm gonna actually give sound a little more for this game. Because I think sound is equally as important. Oh, we got $63,000 from Why Am I Here. That's not bad. For us, at least right now. Woo. Man, the future of this guy is gonna be way better. Wait for the bugs, I almost clicked finish, that would be bad. We've got a new design record, but our technology is not a record. 
Okay, I'm gonna release this real quick. And I am not gonna research anything this time because I want to actually save up for the uh, custom uh, game engine, I believe it is. And that's 50. And we leveled up in level design. We leveled up in graphics and we're nearly leveled up. That's great. Let's see what the reviews for this is. And the first reviews for our game, Forward to the Past, came in. Oh, it's gonna be high. Ooh, seven, good game, star games. Ooh, six, shows potential. Oh, can we get an eight? Can we get an eight? Nah, it's a six, I like it. Uh, seven, nah, it's a six again. Time travel and adventure, great combo. Great, let's research, gener or not research, generate a game before, my bad. <laughs> Oh, this is our best game yet. It's selling 3k units in the first week. We're making money off it. Dang. And our post analysis complete. Time travel and adventure is a great combination. World design seems to be very important. Platform genre match. PC adventure. Great. That's good. That's good. Let's see. Contract work. Yeah, I don't want to do contract work yet. No need. Let's just go straight into developing a new game. Let's see, pick a topic. Let's do a, wait, I wanna research something. These topics are bad. Let's see, research. What topics we got? Uh, I'm gonna do zombies. I didn't wanna research a topic, but none of the ones we have are good. So, I'ma just research zombies because I know, I think I know how to make a good zombie game. Alright, we have successfully researched it. Alright. And the NES has been released. And we have 10k units sold, that says a gr that's a great milestone. 10k units sold so far. And we're gonna develop, we're gonna pick zombies, we're gonna pick... A zombie, a zombie action or adventure? I'm gonna go action with platform PC. And we're gonna, oh, almost click next. We're gonna call it uh, the Horde. The Hordes, yes. All right, we're starting development of the Hordes. Wonderful naming by me. I have the best naming ever. Engines. Actually, I'm gonna give engine the full and see how it goes. Yeah. I'm gonna try that for uh, this. Alright. We're getting into it. No, don't scratch your head. That's losing us money. Alright, it's off the, off the market for forward to the past. It got 82,000 in sales. In the future, we might want to make a sequel of it, potentially. Forward to the past 2? You know, to, it's, yeah, just never mind. I, I'm sorry. Ugh. Let's see. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna say level design is gonna stay full. I just don't know. I'm gonna go with the dialogues. I'm going with dialogues. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know everything, guys. Please don't hate me. Uh, sorry about that. I do weird voices sometimes. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. Graphics, I'm gonna keep full. And you know what, I'm pretty sure it's sound, actually, because in an action game, you want good sounds. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I think we're on to something. And we've got 50 points, yes. Oh, and this is a record for technology and potentially design if you just get three more points, which you won't. Alright, we're just gonna publish it now. All right, new record in technology. So the record for this is 12 and the record for uh, technology is 11. Oh, we're leveling up in everything. Everything's level two now, officially. 
All right, that's great. We're getting better. Oh, and that's the timer. All right, let's just get the game reviews and then we're going to stop. All right, the, re the reviews are in. And, uh, four. Yeah, I think it's that game development stage two that messed it up. Not bad, not good. Uh, four, man. It's a four all around, isn't it? Unless this gets a five. Has its moments. Yeah. It's that middle section that I can't do. Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna actually leave it here. So. Whoops. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and if you do enjoy, please leave a like, and in the comments, let me know what I could do better, what I'm doing good, just so I have an idea on how to run everything. Alright, I'ma leave it here guys, hope you have a great rest of your day, feel free to subscribe for more content, leave a like if you enjoyed, and let me know how I'm doing so that I can make better videos for you guys. Alright, see you guys!